Hi, I'm Maggie, and I'm a biology major and an astrobiology minor. Astrobiology is the study of the origins, evolution, and distribution of life in the universe. So that's pretty awesome already, but let me tell you more. Basically, we're trying to find alien life. But that's a very hard thing to do. It's like finding a needle in a very, 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 very large haystack. So what would you do to find a needle in such a large haystack? Use a magnet, probably. And in metaphorical terms, that's what we're trying to do as well. Our magnet would be our instruments. And instead of trying to find something magnetic, we're trying to find planets with water, planets with oxygen, radio signals, or really any other signs of life we can think of. What if extraterrestrial life doesn't need water or oxygen or plate tectonics or carbon or anything that we know life needs here on Earth? Well, that makes things harder. And how do you search for something that you have no idea about? You'd have to look everywhere, and everywhere is a lot of places. I mean, our universe is 93 billion light years across. So what do we do? Well, we know some needles are magnetic. We know some life is carbon-based and needs liquid water and looks like what we have here on Earth. And we know that because, well, we're surrounded by evidence. So if some life is like this, we can try and see if there's similar life by using Earth as an example. So mostly we look for carbon-based life or we look for oxygen or methane, or we look for liquid water. But there's a chance that there are multiple needles in this haystack, and by only using a magnet, we might miss some. So we keep our eyes open just in case, and we try to figure out how we could possibly find something when we don't know what it is we're looking for. So now that my complicated metaphor is finished and maybe made no sense at all, let's talk about how cool the study of astrobiology really is. Astrobiology is a relatively new science, as it came into fruition in the 1990s. And astrobiology really is a science filled with multiple sciences. We have to utilize all these sciences to cover all the bases of life. And life is a really complicated topic. Astrobiologists may have to know a lot of science, but the research they get to do is amazing. A lot of the research of astrobiologists deals with what life on Earth can do, meaning what conditions can life on Earth withstand. If we can find out the true boundaries of capability of life on Earth, we open the door to those types of environments extraterrestrially. For instance, if we find an Earth microbe that can withstand 120 degrees Celsius, then that means extraterrestrial habitats with that condition are more likely to be able to harbor life. You see, because we know for a fact that some life can withstand that condition. So as you can see, astrobiology is a very fascinating and multifaceted science. I could make hundreds of videos about it. And I will, right here on this YouTube channel or on my TikTok, Mags for Science.